All right, let's see if we can draw some more of this. Uh, we left off, I had put that in there with a lip, a little uh, bottom deflector dish guard or whatnot. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's what I thought. I had my had my center out there. Okay. Let's go to edit mode. And see. Let's box this in. Grab it and Z, bring it up just a tad. Box this one. Bring it up just a hair. Grab it to the Z, bring it up. Grab on the Z, bring it up. Grab on the Z, bring it up. Now we're almost to the point that I think Z, let's bring this up about like this. And then let's grab the next one here. Actually, let's grab, let's grab all of these. Grab Z, bring them up. And maybe Bring that up about halfway. Okay, now here's kind of where it gets. Uh, let's go to object mode. This is kind of where it gets kind of a little hairy. And what we want to do, file, save as. Alright, I'm going to make this a 3, bring this to a 3 now. And what I want to do is. Come down here. I want to come out into my main screen. I want to look at my pics. I've downloaded some pictures. I got some pretty decent pictures of the uh, Enterprise. 
and the refit and the original whoops like this so for this is a blueprint and this one isn't too bad this one's not too bad but I also actually I have this one and that one which is actually that's phase two refit which is interesting uh, this is the A which is more or less the same as the uh, the A is basically the same thing as the uh, is just the refit that's original constitution original constitution original constitution and we might use this uh, here's a pretty decent one this one right here is I think with the one we want so this is called 1701-GUS1 so what I want to do is go back into Blender and I want to add I'm in object mode I want to add let's add an empty image open document the actual desktop picks and I think it was Gus okay let's scale it There we go, scale it. Now what I want to do is I want to rotate it on the y-axis 180. And if we look from above, whoopsie. Let's look at it from above here. Okay, let's try this again. Let's rotate it on the Y 180, 180. And now what we can do is we can scale this some more. Scale. And I want to. I want to grab it on the Y still landed flat okay I want to scale this some more I'm going to scale this to where basically the engines are relatively the same size so this is too small a scale at the moment that's better let's grab it the X And actually, if you notice, they're not proportioned exactly the same, but they're pretty close. And we can actually take our transparency to <laughs> 0.5. And as you see, I just kind of ghosted it, so we can look through this. Let's grab it on the y-axis. Okay. Let's grab it. X. Now, if you notice the uh, you notice the dome is a little bit grab an X the dome 
isn't quite the same. But what I'm really trying to more or less match up, let's grab this to the Y. And let's bring it up. What I really want to match up more than anything is this hangar bay area here. So let's grab it. X, let's bring it back a little bit. And let's reset the transparency to... Let's reset it to 0.7. Which darkens it up a little bit, but you can still... Still see through it. And then I want to scale it. That's going big. I want to go smaller a little bit. Grab it. X. Grab it on the Y. Grab it on the X. It's a little closer, but it's still a little big, so let's scale it down just a little bit. Grab an X. Grab it Y. And now it's a little bit small. Let's scale it up a little bit. Grab an X. Okay, scale it up a hair more. Grab it X. Now what I'm doing is more or less the thickness of this uh, shuttlecraft bay door. Grab it on the Y. And we just need to go... Well, it's pretty close in the height. We Grab it Y. Depending on what line you want to go. And these lines are a lot tighter than the lines on the uh, dreadnought drawing. Okay. Scale it out a little bit still. Grab it X. That's a little better. Grab it Y. And I would say that's pretty close. Pretty close, pretty close. And then the yeah, dome, the dome and the disc look pretty similar to the same size there. The engine. The engine looks, yeah, I think that's about as close as we're going to get. The uh, primary sensor array deflector dish looks almost like it's the same size as that, too. So that's probably about as good as we're going to get. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to rotate this on the x-axis 90 degrees and push 1. Okay, now I want to push Z, which kind of gets rid of our body. We don't see our body, and we're going to grab this on the X. We're going to bring it back. And we're going to grab it on the Z this time, because we're straight up and down. We're going to zoom in here. Okay, we're going to grab it on the X. We're going to bring it back a little bit to right about there. We'll compromise in the middle, and then we're going to grab it on the Z again, and we're going to bring it up. Bring it in just a hair. That's probably about as good as that's going to get. Okay. So now, if we deselect this,
Then we select this, we're in object mode, we select this, put Z. Okay, except for now, the problem is... And we got that picture in front of the other one. Uh, I don't know why it's disappearing though. So what we do, special one, deselect, and then we're going to take this one here, we're going to grab it, see we're going to move it down. And we're going to grab this one, and we're going to go back to transparency, and we're going to go back to 1.0, and we're going to hit enter, and then we're going to deselect, we'll come back in here, we'll hit this, we we'll hit Z, there we go. Go to edit mode. Okay. So now part of the problem, as you can see, the hole on the dreadnought, the secondary hole on the dreadnought is way bigger than the hole on the uh, Enterprise here. But I'm thinking, let's go back to object mode. Let's see. I think we can grab this picture, grab it to the Z. We're going to bring it down until we basically match that curve. And let's go see. Okay, so we're kind of matching that curve on the, along the bottom of the ship there. Except for the problem is that this whole hangar bay thing is higher. So, I think to mate that up, I think to mate this thing up, we need to grab these three right here. Grab them to the Z and bring them up till their level. And grab the fourth one, the next one up, and grab it to the Z. Okay, put that there. And we actually Bring that up a little bit. Grab the next one over. Grab it Z, bring that up a little bit. Let's bring this one. Grab it Z, let's bring it down just a hair. There we go. Okay, now. And I think the trick here is we're going to have to figure out, because on the, uh, save this again, save it as we got it saved as three. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back into my uh, picks here. And I thought I had had an actual dreadnought picture here somewhere. Another nice one we could kind of use is we actually have this. But that doesn't show the outside of the ship. That's kind of an internal shot. It's got a good scale on the feet for the doors and stuff, though. Okay, so... The Enterprise had quite a taper on its... Uh, secondary hull where this ship doesn't. So we're going to have to kind of figure out how to trick that. I know I have some dreadnought pictures too, but I think they're in my pictures. They're not in my uh, 
They're not in this group, actually. He'd have to dig them up. Uh, let's go here. Let's go into my picture pictures and let's go down into. Let's go down into Dread, not D, L, B, C, D. Okay, I got some of them there. Here's something you might like. Here's a Haynes manual for repairing the Starship Enterprise man uh, owner's workshop manual. Okay. And that's the new Enterprise, which I don't really care for, but I got pictures of it. Let's see, I got some sheets there. Another one. Uh, here we go. I think this is it. So here's a dread. Here's a sheet of the dreadnought, uh, or a dreadnought. That's called the Federation, and it's kind of different. But it uh, it just basically shows the standard hull, and it doesn't have a curve on the back. It just comes up straight. So we get that option, I guess. Here's another one, Federation class dreadnought, and it just shows the uh, it just shows shows the hull curving up. But the problem with this hull curving up, where it just shows the hull curving up, is because it has a, basically a circle on the back with another sensor array, like a primary sensor array. So. Here's another Trek Dreadnought, it says. And like I says, it's just kind of showing this ship that we're this ship that we're actually doing is just a just a slight bit different. So uh, here they are. Okay, so this shows the hull and the hangar bay and the smaller dome. So again, I basically have the option of just tapering that up. Or, I have the option of trying to blend in the Enterprise shape to it, which I like. I kind of like that curve a little better. So again, I'll see what Mr. S Foley would like to do. And uh, it would be easier for me to just taper it up, but I can always add that curve later. So I think what I'll do is we'll just grab this again. We'll go into object mode. Let's go Z. Let's go into object mode. Let's grab the sheet. And let's grab it to the... Let's grab it to the... Z and let's take let's bring it right up to about there and let's come back to this go back to edit mode Z whoopsie except for the problem with that is I lost my I lost my taper reference except for there so uh Let's just try to guess it by the lines. Let's go box. Let's grab these four. Actually, let's not grab this four. Let's hit A. Let's, let's box in all of these. Let's grab them on the Z. Let's bring them up until they're level, which is kind of ironic because on that last one we did. Okay. Let's zoom in here. For some reason, I kind of got a down throw on this other one because of the height on that one. So let's box this. Let's grab them and let's go up. Z. Okay, we got them level. Okay, so now we can box this and grab it.
try this again. I hit the C key. Okay, Foxy's. Grab them to the Z. Let's bring them up and let's see if we can't just basically guess that curve. And depending on how many, how much we want it to curve or not. Let's push A. Let's take. Let's come back to this one here. And these. Let's grab them on the Z. And I was actually watching the one all the way to the left. Let's box this one. Actually, let's box the rest of them too. Sometimes it's just easier to move. You can move them one at a time or you can move the whole row. So when you do the next thing. Okay, let's grab that to the Z. Let's bring that up right to about there. Okay. Let's grab this to the Z. Let's bring these up. And let's start curving them just a little bit more than what they were. And then let's box these. Grab them to the Z. Let's bring them up. And then I would say it's time to start on this row. Grab it Z. Let's bring it up. Actually, let's bring them about halfway, a little more. Let's take this one here, grab it, Z, a little bit more. And grab it, Z, let's bring that up here. Grab it, Z, bring it up a little bit. And then, as you can tell, we are going to grab it, Z, bring it up a little bit. Let's look at that in object mode right quick. And I might have to flatten out a face here. We can go to edit mode and go to shading and we can go face mode and pick that face. I want that one flat. I want that one flat if it's not already. You could actually flatten out the ones on the lip. Okay, let's push it. Let's go back to verts and let's go to object mode. And then we need to finish this thing out here. See, and I can draw it in the squares, or I can just leave it smoothed out a little bit, because once we render this thing, we're going to edit mode. Okay, let's... Actually, we can kind of come big here, and we can also go full screen. Give us a little bit more. OK. 
Okay. Save it again right quick. Okay. Now if you notice, I've kind of just, like I said, I'm kind of guessing the curve, but I've curved this thing around. And, like I said, I kind of have the option to whether I wanted to put this uh, undercut or whatever it is on the back, which kind of gives it the classic Enterprise look. But as we've kind of seen, the dreadnoughts basically uh, don't have that look. So let's grab to the Z. Let's bring this up. And let's grab this to the Z and bring these up a little bit. Next one. Actually, yeah, we'll do that. Grab Z, bring it up a little bit. Grab Z, bring it up just a hair. Now, if we hit Z, I kind of like the way that's curving. I do like some curves in them. Uh, like I said, I actually like the undercut, but uh, the uh, the plans of the ship would kind of indicate that it doesn't have that, though. But it's also, like I said, they have a primary sensor dish on both ends of this ship, except for the, this modified version doesn't. So you could leave this space in here. Or we could actually cut an undercut in this. Uh, and if we go to seven, I say you can't really see, you can't really see it because of the uh, you can't see it because of the engine being in the way in this picture, and they don't seem to give us kind of an alternate picture. So, what would be interesting is, too, is whether it has an undercut or not. You could only see it at an angle. You couldn't see it from directly on the side of the ship. I just think since we're, uh, you know, and, and or you could actually put another little uh, antenna dish in there, but I don't really want to do that. And it looks like... It looks like on that this picture too that this this is wider. Seems like it's seems like it's a lot wider than the original Enterprise kind of thing. Uh, like like it would have a much wider door. You could actually probably fly two shuttles in almost at the same time. So let's grab box this. And we'll box this. We'll grab it to the C. Now, one of the other advantages to cutting a t cutting an undercut in this is that I could actually uh, delete, basically get rid of some of this geometry and wouldn't have to try to scrunch it all up into this. On that note, it would be a little bit easier. Let's grab this to the Z. And... Let's grab this one to the Z. I do a lot of the same kind of stuff what I'm doing here on like regular ship hulls. To try to clean up these lines. Which makes the hull more proportional. Uh, this one here actually needs to come just grab Z, just come just a hair down. And 
goes to probably this one too, actually. Yeah, it's not too bad. Okay, so let's see what we got. Now, see the end of this ship. With this having a hangar bay. Like I said, it kind of... Uh, I wonder why I have a line across there. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I think because that was one of the ones I made where I extruded it. So I might have to get rid of that. Let's go back to face. Let's make that flat. That's empty. Okay, let's go back to vertices, let's go to Z, let's save it again. Now see what I don't like is that, okay, let's grab this the Z. I had too many keys there. Let's grab this to the Z. Let's bring this up. Let's hit Z and see what it looks like. Now see it has a serious, serious undercut here, and I don't like that undercut. And that's where I'm talking about that I would have to take. to the Y. And again, if we look at this picture here that they drew, like on the front hangar bay, that support shelf is way thinner than this one. This picture has a much thicker support shelf for the uh, hangar bay door. But again, too, the hangar bay door on the Enterprise here is uh, smaller than the one they have on the uh, Dreadnought. So the Dreadnought has a much wider hangar bay door thing. Uh, which also, if you had the door basically being the same height and a lot wider, it would change the dimensions of it. So uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to save this here. Because I'd probably run it on 30, I hope not 40, but I'm betting 30 or more minutes this video. So let's save this. And in the next video, which should be the fourth of the series, we're gonna I'm planning on working on this hangar bay area and this tail, and we'll see what we'll see what we're gonna do with this tail, whether we're gonna try to put an undercut taper in it of some kind to be reminiscent a little bit of the Starship Enterprise the Constitution class kind of thing or if we're just going to round this out and put like a slope on it or something we'll do something with it but uh, 
just have to go to object mode. I actually like the way the hole's turning out for the most part. I think it looks pretty good from the top. It's getting to where it's looking okay from the side. Like I said, I'm just kind of I'm kind of wanting to figure out how to make that bottom look a little bit good. Or if not, we'll make it basically kind of like the uh, standard Dreadnought original series thing. And it's kind of interesting because this kind of gives me an idea of how the Dreadnought was shaped compared to the Constitution Heavy Cruiser class. And it was a little bit bigger and shaped a little bit different. So let's save this right here with this pretty picture of the comparison constitution. Actually, we can move this over just a bit. There we go. No, that still didn't work. All right, let's save this here. Let's go to that, and let's save it one more time. So when we come in, it'll look like that. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.